In this tutorial, I will show you how to install JavaFX in Builder 17. Let's go to GlueLon's website. Okay, it is uh, same builder. So we have uh, 17.0.0. Seems like it came out uh, three days ago. Let's download Windows Installer. It may take a few minutes to download it. Okay, let's double click. Run it. Next, upset the terms. Next, try to remember this directory where you install the builder. Next, install. Finish. Okay, this is actually hidden folder. Simbuilder is a C drive users under your username. Okay, where app data local Simbuilder. Okay, this is where you have a Simbuilder exe. Okay, let's go to uh, NetBeans ID 12.5 Tools and Options Java Java FX. I already select the same builder. Okay, you can browse. Make sure you select your own uh, your username under users. Let's open uh, FXML in same builder. So this is a same builder 17.0. Pretty much same as uh, 16. So let me add one label. Go to code, FX ID, I will say LVL OK. OK, this is Java FX Builder 17.0.0. Let's say, let's make controller. So we have one new uh, label. Let's change LBL OK. Set text. So when you click the button, it's going to display a message on this label. Build. Let's run FXML. OK. OK button is clicked. So that's how you can um, set up SubFX SimBuilder 17 with uh, uh, Apache NetBeans 12.5. Let's go to IntelliJ. This is 2021.2.2. 20, File, Settings. Under Language Frameworks, SubFX. I already selected, just make sure you select Pass to simbuilder.exe. Okay, username is yours. Let's open FXML in simbuilder. Okay, this is uh, 17. We have a FXML um, button and label. Let me select the label, go to code. Let me change uh, FXID. I will use the same name, LBL OK. Save it. Okay, let's go to FXML. I changed the name, so let's create a new data field. Change to private. Then you can add a FXML annotation. 
SUV uh, controller. Okay, Apex ML. Let me unfold it. And this message, uh, we change the name of FX ID, so change. It'll be okay. Let's build the project. Then run it. You can look at other um, video clips that will show you how to um, create a FXML application. So I will show you again. Uh, this is uh, IntelliJ ID 2021.2.2. That's all. Thank you.